Hello, I'm Andrew Phillip. I'm the Managing Director of Retirement Communities Australia. We're a family owned business and uh, our philosophy is to create beautiful places that are warm and friendly but practical to live in. For example, all the villas, they all have a north aspect which is an important thing in Melbourne. Uh, so there will always be an outdoor area, a courtyard or a terrace that looks to the north, lets the sun come in during the winter. We try to create places that are warm and homely to live in but very practical. So our locations, we always choose to be near amenities, so across the road here at Point Cook we've got the Sanctuary Lake Shopping Centre, literally a 50 metre walk across the road. There's a golf course over the road and there's medical facilities up the road. They're all within easy reach, mostly on foot. On joining the village population, it became very evident to us that there were many things that were a real opportunity here. That is that there was already a social club infrastructure starting to generate which has been very successful. It organises many different avenues for people who have an opportunity to be entertained, to participate, whether it's a physical attitude or it's a card game. Any of those things are all available to us. The swimming pool. Lots of residents here like to get up in the morning and go for an early morning swim. I don't happen to be one of them, but there's lots that do. <laughs> but we're able as a village to bulk by electricity and a bulk by telephony and internet. And so when you move to the village, a lot of these things are a lot cheaper than you would be paying in your own home right now. So when we've thought about designing the actual villas, we've tried to incorporate all the aspects that we would want in our everyday lives. So every villa has at least two bedrooms and at least two bathrooms. Generally, there's a third bedroom or a study, a lovely big open plan area, a dining and lounge room, and a separate sitting area as well. When we have visitors, when you open the front door to let them in, particularly for the first time, it's just, wow, this is big. So it's contrary to what a lot of people think a unit is going to be. It's much bigger. Although everyone here is living independently, we've designed the villas so that people can age in place. So you'll find no steps. There's always a way into the villa without going over a step. The showers, for example, have no steps. And the and the shower screens, for example, are frameless glass, so they're easy to clean. And we've tried to think of the things that you don't want to be doing as you get older. If anything, it's going to create a peace of mind for the children of the residents to know that their parents are safe and secure, and they're living independently, but they've got a lot of backup and support if they need it. My name's Garth Boone, and I am the village manager at Point Cook Retirement Village. I think the personal satisfaction is, is particularly noted when a new resident who's only been here a day or two comes into the office and said, I feel like I've moved home. And that really is one of the best parts of the job. Part of our philosophy, and this is quite unique to Retirement Communities Australia, we genuinely want the residents of the village to be actively involved in running the village. There is a management committee and residents participate actively in that residence committee to help set the direction that the village is going in, in the immediate operation on a day-to-day -day basis, but particularly in the longer term, so that we have a very secure environment well into the future. That committee has 10 members, and seven of those 10 members are residents, elected by residents to run the village. The best advice that I could give for people moving from their own homes to a village is to not leave it too long, perhaps 60s to 70s, would be ideal. You want to come to enjoy while you can at an earlier age if that's how your health and everything is because you won't be disappointed. A really important aspect of our philosophy in, in developing retirement villages is that it must be great value for money and we really do encourage people to look at look a field, look at other villages, visit other villages and then come back and compare. We're pretty confident they will come back because if it's good value, it just makes sense. <laughs>